So here we are in Premiere. I've already created a sequence and added two videos to the timeline. So this is the video number one on the track number one. And this is the video number two on the video track number two. Now, first thing we want to do is to make the video that's on the track number two as black and white as possible. We can do that using the Illumetric color panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and make sure the Illumetric color is selected. Then select the video on top so it's highlighted. In the Illumetric color, open the basic correction. Set saturation all the way down to zero so it's black and white. Then I'm going to increase the contrast to 100. Then highlight all the way to 100. Shadows all the way down. Whites up, blacks down, something like that. If you need to further crush the blacks and whites, you can open the curves panel or the curve section. And in the RGB curve, I'm going to drag this point to the right to crush the blacks and this one to the left to crush the whites. And you can do that based on the footage that you have. And after you, your footage looks something like that, uh, make sure you come to the effect controls panel and set the blending mode of it to screen. And as you do that, the black parts of the video should become transparent and therefore reveal the video underneath it. And here, if you, we select the bottom video, we can, using the effect controls panel in the motion section, we can reposition the video depending on, the, on your needs and you can resize it as well. So I'm going to increase the scale and place the girl inside here. And now if we play the video, you will see that we are getting this double exposure effect. And from this point on, you can adjust the second video's colors and contrast and all that using the Illumetric color panel. And that is the basic double exposure effect done in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.